everyone, Mary Pat here with you again this week. And today I am going to be talking about um, Hipster May, which is the new uh, stamp set. And uh, Hipster Cody's over here, and then we've got Hipster May. And this one is just so much fun uh, with that. And we've got May here with, uh, she's got her coffee cup, she's all set, she's got her cool bag, her hat, we've got um, Thanks a Latte, Go Lomo, Get Thrifty, we've got this adorable camera, we got some glasses, and then uh, we've got this coffee cup, and I, I am in love with this coffee cup. Uh, in fact, I'm going to be using that coffee cup to make um, a clean and simple card uh, with you today. So let's get started. First up, I've got um, just a, a card base here, and um, it's using the Coordinations cardstock. And what I'm going to do is I kind of want to give it a distressed look, and so I am just going around the edges with a sanding block, and I just don't want it to be all nice and perfect. I want it roughed up to kind of look like the craft that's on, um, you know, when you get the coffee cups, how you've got that liner around there. And that looks perfect. And I just have my little dust buddy and picking up all the parts. Okay, that looks awesome. And uh, so I've got this nice distressed background uh, that I'm going to uh, to be using. And I've already pre-cut um, this out using um, a, a die. And I'm going to put that right, I'm going to be putting that right there uh, in the center uh, with that. So I've I've uh, already stamped here um, my um, coffee cups using the Memento um, ink, and I've got this 110-pound uh, cardstock, and I'm going to be coloring the uh, coffee cup uh, with that. And I've got my Spectrum Noir markers, and I'm going to start off with EB1. And uh, just gonna kind of give that going around. Just going quickly. And then I've got EB2 that I'm gonna just put in with uh, my shading here and uh, create that in there. And I'm going to go back in with my EB1 and just kind of blend it all out. looks awesome. Okay, now if you've noticed, I kind of left out uh, the heart here, and I'm actually going to pop dot that on there, and I've got my DR5 uh, on here, and I'm going to color this heart. And now I'm going in with my DR6, just to give it a pinch there, okay? And I'm going to fussy cut these out.
Okay, so I have my coffee cup um, cut out, and then I have my um, heart cut out, and then I have a little tiny uh, foam dot that I have placed on the back. So I'm just going to kind of set those aside, and I'm going to kind of bring back this um, little piece. And with this now, um, I want to stamp my sentiment, and I'm going to use the uh, thanks a latte, and I just love that saying. I just think it's so awesome, and I'm not even a coffee drinker, but I love it, and my friends um, are all uh, coffee drinkers. So what I'm going to do is, again, I'm kind of sticking with the brown theme here. And I'm going to stamp my sentiment using the Jenny Bolin Brown Sugar. And I want to put it pretty much in the center of my Okay, I want to uh, stamp my sentiment, I've got it all inked up, right in the center, um, a little bit close to halfway up. And I've got that, looks awesome. And then what I want to do is I want to stamp the uh, coffee mug on there. Uh, because then I want to pop dot that so that there's just lots of dimension on the card. Okay, for this, I'm just going to use my Hero Arts um, ink. And again, I want to just kind of put this right in the middle, right on top. And I've got that right there. Just remember to always clean your stamps afterwards. And now I'm going to put, first I want to pop dot um, my heart on and put that and then it'll be easier to put the, the coffee cup on there so I've got that right in the center and I love that and next I'm going to put some on here and then right along there and I've got that and I think that looks awesome and now I want to add just some yummy twine and I want to pick up the red theme that I have with my heart and uh, I want to put some red uh, and white twine on there. So I'm going to take the, my twine and I'm 
So I'm going to take my twine, I just have a little bit over on, on the left side, and then I'm just going to wrap it around the bottom. I am not very good tying bows. I know some people can do it so fast, but that's just not me. So I've got that. I just want to get the bow right in the center. Love it. And I've got my card here. And now once again, just I love the dimension. I've got some texture. We've got the distressing. We've got um, the twine. And now I want to add just a little bit more on there. And uh, I used a pretty flat foam dot for the um, first ones. And now with this one, I'm going to use just a little bit thicker. I like to put the foam dots down at the end so that if this were ever in the mail or whatever, uh, slide off. It can't slide off because of the foam dots. And then I put another row right there so that it's pretty secure with that. Okay, so now I'm just going to attach that right in the center. And we've got it. Thanks a latte. And using uh, the brand new stamp set, make sure you stop by the Some Odd Girls store and uh, pick this set up. I think you're going to have so much fun uh, creating just different projects um, with it and making some uh, fun cards for friends and family. And here's one last look with uh, the hipster collection. And uh, again, stop by the store, pick these up. I think you're going to fall in love with them. So thanks again, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.